Can we cook this guy too? Rampage? We've been alive for 30 seconds and we already have a rampage. Hey guys, what is going on? We are using the brand new composite Hades, the special edition Hades that just came out on the update. We're gonna try two different builds, and man, this has gotta be the coolest looking robot that's ever been in the game, just based on design. And it has that cool Pacific Rim movie look, and if you haven't seen Pacific Rim the movie, then pause this video, go watch the movie, then come back. So, we're gonna try out two different builds, the Sonic build first, with the Devastator and the Scatter. So I haven't used the Hades in a while, or, you know, not with its full potential with all the pilot skills and modules loaded up. But let's see how this thing does. So we do have one last stand and two thermonuclear reactors. I still find that to be probably one of the most effective damage setups in the game. Because you have your last stand for safety, then you get your thermonukes for some more damage. So remember, we got a 200 meter range here on Canyon, so we're going to have to get up close and personal. Okay, so we're starting off here. Um, we just we don't want to be too aggressive here, but we do want to get in to the center. Okay, let's help out my teammate. Is a shell bot, stupid shell bot, crusty shell bot. I feel like they should make a shell bot special edition. It's just called the crab. Alright, here we go. Ravana, let's get him, get him. Oh, he's using his build. Dude, boom, there we go. Kill. Ooh. This guy's. We had his beacon. Looks like they're taking it back now. Maybe we can help with my teammate. That is a Typhon, so I do not want to get. Look at this guy. He's got two shields going. Oh my god. This guy's got his double shields. How is that even possible with his drone, I guess? That's weird, but okay. Typhon. Boom. Alright, he didn't take us out, so he didn't hit us with his ability or whatever. Okay, we're gonna help out here. Oh man, they were dropping in heavy over here. But we're gonna eliminate all of them. In the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, just do it. Just do it now. Okay, let's go. Um, I was June first. Boom, there we go. And we all know the Nemesis has a super short reload on its uh, ability or cooldown on its ability. But the Hades ability cools down very fast as well. Not as fast as the Nemesis, but 9 seconds. That's pretty good. And that's with the booster. Oh, how's you? Hopefully he doesn't trigger our last stand. Oh, he didn't trigger it. Perfect. He did not trigger our last stand. So obviously we want to keep the last stand alive as long as possible. So we can heal up now. Sweet. Oh, is this another Aujun? Jeez. I'm seeing a lot of Aujuns these days. Boom, beyond godlike. We are cooking. We are cooking right now. Living legend. Holy. We got living legend. I guess the composite Hades is now the best robot in the game. Number one, no argument. I'm just kidding, but it looks like the coolest robot in the game. Another living legend. Jeez. Okay, our last hand is now triggered. But let's see if we can take... Oh, that guy stole our kill. A little bit of lag there. We can take him out, though. Another living legend. Jeez. Oh, this veteran might take us out. Come on. Uh, our ability is about to come back. Oh, we didn't make it. But man, what did we get? Three living legends there? That was nuts. And I forgot to mention, remember, this is a special edition robot the Hades was. So we do have 10% more durability, which doesn't sound like much, but it is. 10% more durability can be, you know, you get 300,000 health, that's 30,000 more health. And when you have 30,000 as opposed to zero left, you're like, oh, maybe it was worth it. So speaking of the Nemesis before, so here it is. Haven't used the Nemesis in a while either. And obviously the Nemesis is known for its mediocre firepower, but 
crazy short cooldown on its ability. And that's kind of why it only has two mediums, is because your rockets are constantly, like, pretty much reloading. Okay, we're going to be a little bit reckless here, because there's still five and a half minutes left, or only five and a half minutes, and we've just used the one robot. Because we were slapping with that Hades. Uh-oh, we're taking some damage. Oh, that Ao Ming is kind of camping back there. Obviously, the Pulsar is still crazy effective at locking down. Stop shooting at me, man. Stop shooting at me. Ow, man, you look like a stupid bird. You're not a dragon, you're a pigeon. All right, let's let's uh, let's see what we can do here. I assume we're gonna be able to lock him down, but can we deal enough damage? I mean, he's probably got like 800,000 HP. Okay, we're firing, we're firing. We can use our speed to our advantage. Uh-oh. Okay, let's use our phase shift and then our ability is going to be back. Jeez. Holy. Do you see how much damage we just did with that? That was really surprising. Oh, the scorpion. Oh, man. I thought that scorpion was going to walk away without seeing us. So then we could just grab. Uh-oh. I saw him teleporting, so then I immediately turned around. No. Oh, they're teaming up with me big time. Can we just kill the scorpion? I just want to kill the scorpion. Everyone move. Yes. Okay, I don't think we're going to survive this. We got 10,000 health. Ah. I let my rockets go fast in that last ability just because I wanted to kill that uh, scorpion before we died. Man, what? Have I just been zoned out this whole game? We got one beacon left, and our beacon bar is disappearing. What has my team been doing? I've been fighting at that beacon for like seven minutes and my teammates haven't gotten like any beacons. Oh my jeez. I'm gonna call this a loss. Because they're taking our home right now and we have four teammates and we're all standing on this bridge. I mean, I was just grabbing the beacon. Get it together. Oh, okay, this is the loss. We're gonna have to play another game. Jeez, that kind of sucks. I thought we were having a good game with the, the sweet composite Hades. The Pacific Rim Hades. 3.9 million damage, two beacons. I mean, ugh, that's kind of disappointing. All right, guys, we dropped in kind of late here. Um, let's start off with the composite Hades, just because we don't know how long this game's going to go. We never do. Okay, so now we're using the new weapons. Obviously, the Hell Weapon along with the snare so the frozen particles and remember the hell stands for what is it um something electric i i don't even remember what i said yesterday when i, when I pronounced it boom all right triple kill right off the bat jeez can we cook this guy too rampage we've been alive for 30 seconds and we already have a rampage Okay, we, they lost center, so they're all dropping in here. This guy's probably going to use his ability. Yep, okay, we don't want to shoot him. What? What the? What does hell stand for? Oh, yeah, it was... What was it? High energy laser weapon. That was it. That's why it's called the hell. But obviously, these weapons, I'm really liking them. I think they're doing... I don't think they need a buff right now. I might have spoken too soon before playing enough games, because now... The damage is definitely sufficient, especially with no lock on. You can constantly just shoot these things with a fast reload, and you just lock down enemies. What is this, an Agua? We're cooking them. Jeez, why is this one so strong? Man, that was kind of. Is that just a regular Aguang? He was eating all of our damage we were throwing at him. Even with that resistance in the air, I didn't think it was that strong. All right, anyways, let's... Um, so the reason I'm triggering... Boom, double kill. The reason I'm triggering my ability gun faster sometimes is because, you know, 
obviously enemies have their abilities and if their abilities aren't loaded up yet i want to shoot them as fast as possible before they can react and fly or hit their stealth or something okay we got four beacons right now we are pushing forward and we are demolishing them with this hades man this composite hades is flipping awesome okay triple kill again this is too easy what is that a hades i think that's a hades right we're the only Hades on this map. Ah, he's healing now. I thought I could take him out, maybe, but... Man, I'm telling you, it's so weird also being able to hit, like, enemies in stealth. Just if they're on the same level with these weapons. Because they're so similar. They look very similar to the Scourge Spark, but they're just way better. Rampage. Okay, we're deep in their spawn. They're probably going to kill up me here. Uh, all right we died but that was a good run good three and a half minute run where we just were killing everyone so here's this al ming i haven't used al ming in a while now okay we're gonna back up because being close does not help us whatsoever because we have that 600 meter range and i'd be interested maybe i should make a video or test out the titans and try to rank them right now because i feel like i don't know is the Sharanga first? Which one? Like, what's the best overall robot? Maybe the Sharanga is best in Power Plant, but, like, what about every map? What's the safest option? The safest bet? Might still be the Arthur. But we're just winning this game right now. It looks like game's over. But boom. Guys, thanks for watching the video. That was the Composite Hades. If you can get this robot, get it. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. But 2.9 million damage. Majority of that damage was just with the Hades. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next video.